Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over the bi-weekly contest 42 Q1, the number of students unable to eat lunch. Um, so this one, I thought about doing it in a clever way during the contest. Um, so hit me the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, but during the contest, I definitely thought about doing it in a tricky way. Uh, and this is why for, for me, relatively speaking, four minutes is a very slow, easy I think I, I was just really want to make sure that I read it correctly, and I got a little bit confused with the stack and the and the cues and stuff like that. All that was just like a little bit red herring. Uh, at the end of the day, though, once you finish reading correctly, you can just simulate it. Uh, and the reason you can actually be a little bit smart about it, and there's probably and you can upsolve it to be O of n, but noting that you know you 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 should solve the problem that you're given, which is that the number of students and the number of sandwiches are a hundred. And what that means is that. Um, for my my thing, it could be at worst a uh, hundred square, which is fine because hundred square is ten thousand. Computers are fast these days, and I just simulate it. Uh, let me know what you think. That's ways in my thought process. You can watch me solve the this problem live during the contest. Uh, next, thanks. <laughs> Go. What? Okay, fine. Top of the stack. Which one is the top of the stack? I is equal to the top of the stack. Okay, fine. Um. There's a way of reading problem, but it's not even a real stack. That's not right. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how this works. Well, I got the slow part, right? Whoops.
silly mistake okay hey uh thanks for watching thanks for the support remember to hit the like button and subscribe and join me in discord ask me questions i love questions uh let me know what you think and i will see you next problem bye bye